Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Peter here. So today's video is going to be my starting lineup for the year 2016. So this is going to be a little bit different from how the other guys do this. I find it impossible to name one fragrance for these categories apart from like the signature scents. The rest of them, I have multiple options. My taste changes from day to day. What I might wear on a night out will vary. So I'm going to basically list off multiple options that I would usually pick up for those scenarios. So there's going to be a few different choices here. Again, they're not, they're, they're not recommendations, they're just what I usually pick myself. So we'll get into it with signature scents. So I associate a signature scent with the fragrance you usually pick up the most often and if you were to ask your family and friends what they associate you with, that, that would be your signature scent. For me personally, that would be Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather. I do gravitate towards picking that up the most often. My friends and family are used to smelling, me, smelling that on me more often than not. Although I did watch a video a while ago from Greggy Boy 76 who's, uh, who talks about La Yuko Ampo Hon by Rasasi and uh, he said, you know, it smells like a, a copy of Tuscan leather. I did blind buy it off eBay direct from Rasasi and he's completely right. It's just a carbon copy of Tuscan leather. I've been wearing that constantly. I basically have not picked up the Tom Ford uh, since. It is really good, you'll save yourself over $200 um, if you buy that one. If you want to watch a video of that, uh, check the description below if you miss that one. It, honestly, it's worth getting, even blind buying. If you know you like Tuscan leather, this is completely safe blind buy. It smells exact, lasts just as long, it's just 100% perfect. And also, I would say, equally I pick up Kiehl's Original Musk because not all the time I want to smell of a heavy fragrance and on those days I always pick up original musk just so I smell of something and it lasts all day to me it smells really nice, it's just, uh, just a musk basically there's not really a whole lot else going on there For work, the work category really doesn't apply to me um, I work abroad a few, few months of the year and the work I do Wearing a fragrance would be completely redundant and ridiculous and completely pointless. So I don't wear a fragrance to work at all. Uh, so we'll leave that one. Next up is a night out category. So for night out, um, a lot of the guys, you know, talk about clubbing and you know, I, I don't go clubbing. I don't dance. I don't go to. Uh, these kind of clubbing scenes, I'm not into that. I hate electronic music, dance music is just horrendous to my ears. Uh, <laughs> um, so you'll never see me in a club. I have been in clubs with ex-girlfriends and not enjoyed it. And they've tried to get me to dance and I just honestly feel like melting into a puddle in the floor, just eating me up and dying there, right there. And then I'm very, you know, very uncomfortable in those situations. So I hate clubs. My nights out, I do go to bars and uh, pubs, but I just don't drink. I'm, I'm teetotal. I don't drink alcohol at all. You know, I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't take drugs. None of that. So when I go out to a bar, I don't actually drink. I just have you know a bottle of water, an orange juice, or a coke, or something like that, and I play music. I play guitar. I go to open mic nights. I'm in a band. Uh, so we do gigs. So generally speaking, my nights out involve music in some way, either watching it or playing it myself. I go to a lot of concerts and gigs, I've seen loads of bands. Metallica blew me away. Um, best concert I've ever been to in my life, I think. Um, they played an arena show where their stage was in the middle and the, and the drum kit rotated, so Lars was like going around the whole thing. And there was mics all the way around and James Hetfield was like, Honestly, like I could throw, I could throw a bottle at his head if I wanted to. It was really, really close. I have some amazing photos from that gig. And at the end, James Hetfield flicked his his guitar pick, and honestly, slow motion. And I caught his guitar pick, and I, I taped it to my ticket. Incredible moment. It's just amazing. 
James Hetfield is the reason I play guitar, which is why that was kind of so special. But I've seen loads and loads of bands. I always collect guitar picks as well if I can get hold of them from the guitar players. Uh, yeah, so that's my night out. I enjoy uh, you know music-related stuff. So for nights out, I wear Tuscan leather, Creed Aventus, and Midnight in Paris. Usually, those are the three that I go for for nights out. So for a date night, I would probably pick up something like Maison Francis Kirkjean Satin Mood. I would only do one spray, and here that's that's it. If you do more than one spray. It's just too heavy, it's too strong, it's going to be offending your, your date. The girl's not going to appreciate it at all, especially if you're in a close environment, like if you're sat next to her in a cinema or you're at a restaurant and she's opposite you on the table. It's going to be way too much. She's not going to appreciate it at all. That'll probably be your last date because of that. So only ever spray it once. That's all you need. Just treat it as nuclear. It's so, so strong. I would also wear Creed Aventus, very safe option, you can't go wrong. Nasumato Pardon, the reason being all the girls in my life that have smelt that have all said it's basically it's sexy, um, it has like this kind of dark mysterious sexy vibe to it. They've all enjoyed it, I've not had one negative feedback on that at all. Another one though that you don't want to overspray. One spray is completely adequate, two at the very most, because it's just heavy in the air. You know, if you spray that more than two times, it's just like a brick in the air and no one's going to appreciate it. So again, easy on the trigger. I would also wear, but I don't own, but I would definitely wear on a date, would be Habdan by Parfums de Mali. It smells like an apple crumble. You've got a juicy apple with um, lots of resins and a little bit of warm spice. It smells like an apple crumble out of the oven and what girl doesn't like an apple crumble? It just smells delicious. Uh, girls will want to eat you when you smell like that. You know, if you saw my video with Charlotte and Hannah and Sophie, they all really enjoyed that fragrance. It is really, really nice. I would be more than happy wearing that on a date. Next up is formal occasion, suit and tie. Again, multiple options. I'd wear Sacred Wood by, by Killian. It's classy, it's elegant, it's rich. Sandalwood fragrance, very beautiful. I think it would fit perfectly with a, a suit and tie. It'd also work as a date fragrance as well. That's a matter of pardon. It smells like how a suit should smell. Like if I have an image of a very smart, well cut guy in a nice suit. Nasumato Pardon, that's what comes to mind. It's sort of dark, mysterious, there's a classiness, a sophistication, it smells quite expensive and luxurious with a bit of a sexiness to it. Super tight in the bottle. I'm going to add in an extra category because of me not having a, a work option. So I'm going to do daring, you know, a challenging scent. So fragrances that you're not going to wear all the time, you're not wearing it to please people. You know, you run the risk of maybe offending people or people not liking it. For those kind of scents, I would say Andy Tower, Le Air du Désert Marocain, I really like, although I don't own a bottle, I just have samples of it. I do own a bottle of Lone Star Memories by Andy Tower. Again, I think it's challenging. It's not as challenging, it is easier to wear, but you do run the risk of people not liking that and Rhinoceros by Zoologist, another one that I only have a sample of at the moment but it's, it's great. Um, I'm not a fan of the boozy opening although it does smell good, I just don't, I don't like booze. I don't drink like I say. Um, but the, the, the mid and the dry down is really nice, I like the leather and the smoke and the woods. Uh, it's just very uh, dark and masculine. So I do think that's quite daring, not everyone is going to appreciate that one. Yeah, I would say those are my more daring fragrances. Those are my picks. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.